I'm stuck on an island and all I have is this book. Oh no. What to play game? Hello everybody. It's Gage and I'm back playing Vault Hunters. It's been a fair few weeks and I haven't even played. I haven't played the old world or anything. I stopped playing, waited for uh, the hotfixes to come out on patch 8. Uh, they're all done and then um, set up this world. Now this world is actually a server. So if I, I can't actually pause, you see there, I've got disconnect instead. Um, and the reason for a server is uh, Phoenix, if you've not seen her play, she's been um, playing as well. And it means that we can just play whenever we want without having to worry about, you know, who's online, who's not online or anything like that. And this was all made possible by a mod, which I'll put in the description in case you're planning to do it, because Skyvox doesn't usually work on multiplayer. But we got this mod that means we've been able to set up a little server and we've got separate islands away from each other. There's some extra commands for like visiting and stuff like that, um, which is not online right now anyway. So um, that doesn't worry. So this will still be a single player series it is the season two of my Vault Hunters 3rd edition and I, I can't wait to get started. But because I'm on a server and because Phoenix is here, we may do some joint um, some joint vaults, um, some trading maybe, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be so weird because I do literally have the Vault Hunters book and that is it. And I don't think... Oh yeah, what's new? Chapters. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll skip through this. If you want to read this, you can... You know turn down the speed um but I've, I've read most of it if not all of it uh this is this is a really interesting one though so we're only going to get monolith bolts but they're not going to be as weird as they was before there's actually loads more of them so yeah so let's hang on let's bring everything back up there we go so we're in an ocean again um don't know if that's good or bad seems to do okay last time but we're in an ocean again uh, and we have nothing. We have nothing. Although I am intrigued. There is there's a rumour that there's a secret chest somewhere in this island. And I think people are just dirty liars. Let's have a quick look. That should be vault... Oh, it's vault stone. I thought it was vault bedrock. There's going to be some bedrock on here somewhere so that the, um, you can't just get rid of the island. I'm not sure whether I'm going to base up here or further down. Um, I guess that'll be for... As time goes on. I can't find any chest. And I'm not digging any more than that. So let's just get all this back for now. And then there's only really one. Hang on. Oh no. Can you not throw them on this one? Oh. I was playing all the monsters of the sky. And you can chuck these things. But afraid not. What? We can do one of these. There we go. Right. Let's get our first crystal. And... I guess let's get in. Um... If I leave this here, will it despawn? I'm not going to chance it. I'm not sure if it will. I don't think it will. Because even though these do carry on going, I don't think it's actually loaded in. So let's get in the vault. So I'm going to approach it a bit different this time. So there's going to be some resource gathering. And that's one of the reasons that I am doing this on a video first and not a stream. I was going to stream it straight off the bat. Um, but there's a lot of like just resource gathering stuff, which I can cut out in a video. Um... But yeah, so there's this new thing. Chest cannot be trapped. And Beginner's Grace, which you already know from last time, I think we did have the new version of Beginner's Grace where you keep everything in your inventory, not just what you went in with. So that is excellent. Let's move this book out of the way. But yeah, it's like I say, I'm going to do this slightly different. And we've, we've started in the right corridor. I'm still going to... We're going to go for wood. Basically, what we're going to try and do, my aim for this first vault is to come out of here with diamonds. So that I can make a diamond sword. Or maybe even half a diamond sword. Straight away, I don't know. Um, and we're going to do that. By doing a few things. So I'm not just going to sort of like get grass and do stuff like that. You know, we will need that. But you can get food and stuff from the chest in here. You get golden carrots and stuff like that. So what I'm going to focus on is being able to do some chests. Why have I just... I didn't mean to do that. What I wanted was one of you. Just one. Like, oh, I've just made seven. Okay, we've got seven crafting tables. Come on. What I want to do now is make a wooden sword and a wooden pickaxe. And then I'm going to take the wooden pickaxe and I'm going to mine some stone. 
All right, stone sword, stone pickaxe. I think I said we're going to make a wooden sword. I don't need to make a wooden sword. Stone sword and stone pickaxe. And we need to do that the portal is north because I will forget and I'll get lost. Oh, we got the perfect room to start. The mine room. This is exactly what we wanted. So what we need to find first before anything else is iron. If we can find iron, then we can smelt that down and we can make an iron pickaxe. So here's some straight away. Any more? Nope, just one. I'm sure there'll be more down the uh, down the mine though. There's quite regularly ores and stuff up on these uh, above these doors. So nope, not this time. But that's okay. So let's get in here. So we're gonna have to do some fighting. That's definitely gonna be uh, it's definitely gonna happen in this bit. There's always mobs in here. Uh, but you can see though, if we can get our stuff going, look, there's ancient debris in here now. May have been in there before, but I don't remember ever seen ancient debris uh, and the other thing is we're going to want a bed so we can take these to make string well to get the string to make wool um, and that's something that I didn't think about last time I spent a while trying to get a bed there's some iron down there that's one piece um, was there any more when I was walking down here because it just sort of speed through nope right Let's get down after the iron. Oh, now I can't just fall. I was going to just fall down, but I've got no feather falling. So we're going to have to go the long way around because we've got no way of healing yet. Coincidentally, that will 100% be my first skill point. Um, let's try the next corridor and see. So first one, I mean, I'd like to complete the vault because the monoliths are really, really, really easy to get now. Um, so it would be great to be able to actually complete it. We've set up a spawner. Did you hear that then? Whew. There he is. The bone man. So we're going to go down this way. So I can't get that yet. Now, I think, if I remember rightly, at this level, they're all sizzle spawners. All right, got that one. Yep, yeah, and you. Come on, iron and coal, because we need coal. Because we need to be able to smelt all this stuff down. Uh, I'm not concerned about getting any of this right now. I just want to get our diamonds on the way. I've only got two iron. Oh, that's a good one. If I can break that, I will break it. Pressed end stone. Because that does come up on the um, on the vault table. There's iron. There's iron. And I don't think the end room's in it yet. Hey, look at you. We're going to have to go for it. Because we will get XP. Even though it's a robot, we will actually get XP. Because we're level zero. So, Come on, iron. More iron. Is this, this where I was before? And didn't... Hmm. Is that it for iron? I'm shocked if that's all there is for iron. Yeah, because that's where the end stone was. I'm sure there was another one. Oh, another compressed block. We'll take that. So compressed blocks is there's a like a ton of it in one block, which is great. For See, look, there's a couple of hello. There's a couple of diamonds around as well, which would have been nice to have got. But yeah, I think we've just been unlucky with this one. More there. More there. I'm sure there was another piece of iron at the bottom of a shaft, but maybe I've there. Uh, maybe I did get it, and I'm just forgetting. Oh, there it is. I knew there was one. Oh, there's two. So, have we got enough to make an iron pickaxe? I think we have, haven't we? So, I've got a million of these, so let's make a furnace. Yeah, you can go there. You can go in, you can go in. Right, let me smell this up. I'm going to make an iron pickaxe, and I'm going to go get those diamonds and anything else that seems like it might be uh, decent to get. All right, that's the iron smelted up. So let's give ourselves a pickaxe. Excellent. Um, and I think we'll probably just stick with the stone sword. But no, let's, come on, let's do it. Let's get the um, let's get this one on the go. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Right, you can come with me, though. So... I don't, I'm not bothered about any of this stuff yet. We will be, most definitely be, um, be using that later on, but I want the diamonds. 
and that'll be the first thing and probably the last things we'll get in here and then we might we'll try and find the monoliths get the gold it's always good to get gold on uh, sky vaults actually um where are those diamonds get your eyes out for diamonds and tell me there's one only one so i'd rather make sure that we're able to do some decent combat but what we might be able to do is do some ornate chests and if we do ornate chests we've got a chance we've got a chance to, sorry we got it if we do ornate chests we've got a chance all right there's our first monolith it was in the room where we paused um so we're going to get that and we may as well get some of these chests because the wooden chests are going to give us food there we go um we need lots of this stuff but probably all of it in some ways but we've only got a small inventory um saplings definitely that is a good one um yeah any of those yeah that's all good i think i can hear something walking around maybe it's me scaring myself uh yes yes yeah yeah so the good thing, what I didn't realise was, on the last one I was complaining, like, why do you get so many torches? You can use them in the furnace. I didn't even realise that. So it's really good, actually, that we can get loads of, um, loads of torches early on. Because we can use them instead of the coal, and then we've got the coal for the uh, the altar. I keep calling it a table, the altar. Oh, there were some sneaky living chests around the corner. So let's uh, let's go for this. It's a threefer, which when you've got no armor on and no way of healing, is actually quite tricky. An egg. Now, the egg is handy. It's handier than what you think, because it might spawn a chicken. Can I throw that on myself now? Yeah, that's working again now. That's good. Uh, and then I can eat you. So I'm back up to full. What else do we get in here? More pork. Uh, apple. Yeah, better than rock flesh. I say that now, and I guarantee you my first thing on the altar will be um it'd be rotten flesh bet you right, i'm gonna move that one take the ender pearl right cool anyway sneaky living chest is what it's show that's what you kind of things you can get in living chests in the raw vault uh, it's really helpful at low level so i mean all the chests are at this low level all the chests are really good okay so we got another mine room is the next room on and there is iron so let's grab this what we're gonna have to throw away here we go start prioritizing already probably the paper so there's definitely the iron there's another one up there and there's some coal but we'll uh we'll jump down and then i'll bring you back if we find any diamonds all right here's some more diamonds and some more iron right next to each other that's great and i also fell down the hole into the mine shaft so i've uh i've only got three hearts left but i think that's going to be enough to get us to find the monolith i'm pretty certain that we won't have an issue but you never know so i'm gonna get whatever else is in here and then we'll be back all right i didn't finish looting in there but i've just seen that we've only got six minutes left i didn't notice how the time absolutely flew doing that then so what we're gonna do now is focus on trying to find that monolith for the last few minutes um and like i say they are quite common so i'm hoping if it'll stick in the straight line i'll come across it at some point um and i'm just gonna peek and see if i can see it and finger crossed we'll come across it. But yeah, so five minutes up oh, there. Uh that's the same one. Have I just gone north? I went north instead of south. Alright, it wasn't at the end of the uh north to south, but I just went into the next room for well, the first one, and there it is. Let's see, can I quickly also get this? This is gonna be cutting it really, really fine. I'm greeding. But it might really be worth it. I did get a silk touch book as well, which was um Good one. I don't need any of that. Oh, I do need that. I can't get rid of I need to get rid of something quick. There we go. Right, let's run. Let's run. We've got a minute and 17, which normally I wouldn't be too worried about. But because we've got no speed enhancements at all, we're just running at like normal vanilla Minecraft speed. And it is a lot longer. It feels a lot longer. So let's see. Come on. Come on. I've gone the wrong way. Which way did I come in? Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Vault Compass is obviously going to be on the list <laughs> for us to unlock. I think it was this way. I think it was east. I think it was east. 
and then south. But come on, I think that's the right room unless it's oh, unless it's just the same. And the, the portal is north. Come on, I'm gonna have to eat. Do I need to eat more? I do. Oh, 26 seconds. Come on. I can't remember if it was the first room or if it was the second room, the mine room. Oh, there's the portal. We've got 18 seconds. We can see it. I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. Yeah, we'll be fine. Phew! Whew. Right, so this is what I was saying. Look at all the XP that we got. We've got 5,804, so it's more than filled. We only need 1,000 to level up. So we killed 24 mobs. And what else did we do? We got 13 wooden chests, 5 living chests, 4 gilded, and 2 ornate. So, and that was what we ended up fighting. So, that one was, although it's like a first bolt and it's a raw bolt, you might be like, ooh, you know, mm, wasn't that great? But it is, it's really good because of what we're going to get next. Ah! Did you see that? My victory crate has just gone into the void. Oh my word, so because I didn't have a free inventory spot, it's thrown it out in front of me and I, I didn't get the completion crate. Oh no, what a terrible start that is. Right, I'm going to get this stuff put away. You can see, <laughs> see what I got. And I'm going to go back in and we're going to get some more completion crates. And we are level 2, so we've got 2 unspent skill points. We are definitely going to get heal maybe dash i'm gonna have a look and see all right i've got everything put away and just so you can see if you didn't know this i i didn't know this so i'm using torches that we find tons of inside the vault uh to to do our smelting so i think you can also do it with the um like bamboo the scaffolding as well so it's worth grabbing all that save you some resources here uh oh i've got another tree to plant I'm just gonna plunk it anywhere probably won't grow there um yeah and i've only got enough for one chest i've got enough wool now from that string but i need to get some more wood so i can make a bed uh, I've got two bits of food. I've got my apples, actually. I'll probably take those. Uh, so I've got some food to get me through the next one. I've got my iron chest piece on. So we need to do is... We're taking heal straight off the bat. And I don't think we can do something like speed, can we? No, it needs to. I think we're going to save it and get speed straight away. I think... Um, yeah, I think I think it's really important. I would probably I was gonna go for dash, but I think I'm gonna go for speed. Could go for stone fall, so I can fall. But I think at the minute, because I'm not gonna be doing too much bouncing around. Um, yeah, I think the speed is gonna help us the most. So we're gonna get back in. We're gonna definitely get to level three, and this time we're gonna make sure we've got a slot for that crate. I guess what we need to do is block up behind the uh, portal as well, so that if that ever happens again, we don't lose everything. So let's get to it. Uh, I'm going to start running. If I'm not going to pause you now. I'm just going to go straight into here and let's see what we get. I think this is a village room, which could be excellent, depending on what's in there. Uh, not a village room, sorry, the crop room. But what crops can we get? We can get flowers and stuff, but I'm going to get them later. Uh, well, but is this a, a nothing room? There is no crops in the crop room. Oh, my word. Well, there's another good thing anyway, which is underneath... There's more ores under here and there are no mobs. Um, and you don't have to dig down or anything. You... Have they changed it? You don't have to dig down. No, there it is. There's the entrances. So let's see what we can find from in here. So I'm going to mix it up with the stone and the iron pickaxe just so that I don't lose durability. I threw away the wooden one because nobody wants that. But yeah, there we go. Look, this is one of the new cool things. I think this is ace. So if you need mushrooms now, you can get it from in here. There's different things in here. I think I've only seen the mushroom one on the few people that I've watched playing. Uh, oh, there's another thing here. What's this? Sand. Great. So that's orange sand if you need it. So you can get sand from here as well. So those are really good for sky vaults. Um, because obviously it's, it's difficult to get otherwise, isn't it? So. Uh, oh, I see it. I see it. There's a diamond. There's a diamond. And I will remember to switch pickaxes. I don't know if you remember... On my first playthrough, I did not remember to switch pickaxes on my first diamond. Uh, and I think that's going to be our lot from this room. Yes, it is. So this time the portal was south and we are going north. Can't wait to get some obtainium as well so I can mark the rooms. That's obviously going to be very helpful. Right, there's monolith number one. 
and this is what we're going to focus on. So we're going to go and find the monoliths before we do anything else. We're going to well, we're going to do this entire line because the completion crates are amazing. Like, and I mean amazing. They're really, really good. You get vault gear straight away. So as much as there's some good stuff in these chests, we can level up quickly, get some of the skill points going. Um, and also... Is that one? Nope. And then we'll be... Oh, look, there you go. There's number two. So they are really common. Um, so then we'll be able to come back in a bit more beefier. Uh, and we can spend some time resource gathering without worrying about being murdered every time we turn a corner. Um, and yeah, so let's go get, let's get it. So the good thing is now we can now just sort of try and get, I mean, priorities now food. Um, and then, yeah, I mean, on HS would be great because anything to just get us a little bit of armor because we're not going to get like a full set of uh, bulk gear. Heal. Oh, heal. It's so good. Coins. Our first lot of coins. Excellent. Everybody likes coins. Everybody likes the money. Come on in, mate. I'm not coming to you. Whoa. There we go. Excellent. And you can get these with any pickaxe. Just a bit slower. Um, and then I think what we'll probably do is we need to... Once we've sort of gathered a few resources, got ourselves in a good place... We need to hopefully come across a chromatic iron cave. And we can start building the altar. I'm getting some real ones. Because if we start getting into real vaults, I'm going to get all the good stuff. I just realised as well, there's a little mod that way. You can see it just popping up behind me. It's called um, Pickup Notifier or something like that. I need to move that because it's behind my head. So I will definitely do that. Uh, it's one of the new things that the devs have added in. It's a really good addition. Been there. So I'm not going to risk it anything where I've got like pile up and stuff. I haven't got the resources piling up and I'm not going to be uh, bouncing around all over the place as I say. So we are just going to go for the easy loop. All right, so this is the end of North. It's amazing how small the vaults are when you're used to playing it at a bit of a higher level. So the vaults are tiny at the start. They, well, I remember when I first started playing, the vaults seemed massive. Um, but you do, it's amazing how quickly you get used to the vault size. But yeah, so whatever easy loop we can get, I'm going to grab it source of food would be incredible um but so what we've we got here we've got that 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 that's it our food situation isn't great uh but usually you get it from that room where where i said there'd be like usually crops usually stuff in there or village rooms you best get some crops to at least start planting but not today as it seems but i'm hoping from some of these wooden chests um we will be able to get oh is that another one yeah We'll be able to get some food. It's usually bread in the wooden chests, I think. Uh, and occasionally golden carrots. All right, so we got another mine room. And there's another diamond. All right, so also in the mine room, there's this one. And I don't think this was here before. The reason for this one is because these, the like basalt and stuff like that, it can appear on the altar. But I think it's level 20 before you get nether rooms inside the vaults. But there are these mini ones in the raw vaults. So if you do get them on your altar and you're thinking, how am I going to get them? You don't need to cheat them or anything like that. They are just going to be in these mines. I realise as well, in this first room, uh, I can smash all this and potentially get wheat seeds. Not many, but, you know, it's better than nothing. Did we get any at all? We've got two. Um, but it is enough to at least get us started. So, and Especially because I think we've may have some bones already or maybe i got rid of them but if we've got bones uh we can bone meal that as well so what i did was in that room i came back out and just got some wood from that corridor i'm not going to risk uh losing out this time i'm just going to get the wood so we've got some stuff to make chests and then i'm going to get ourselves out i made sure look there's a spot there there we go we got 10 there's a spot there ready so i would definitely won't be losing the crate this time Hopefully, anyway, unless it, I hope it's not a new thing that it just flies off you instead of going in your inventory. That'd be a shame. Um, but fingers crossed, we're gonna get out of here and we'll get our new crate. Uh, I've gone the wrong way. The portal's south. It's south. Oh, okay. Well, we're about to go out. I really want these. I want these, but I don't think there's anything I really want to throw away yet. Um, go on, I'll take a bit of that. I love these. Absolutely love them. Remember last time I prioritized getting these last time. I'm probably gonna do the same again. Right, let's jump through. Oh, we don't, oh, I'm glad I checked. I picked that underside back up. Go on, get out. 
Get out of here. Right. Please don't fly out my inventory. We got tons of XP again, so let's have a look. We don't see we only killed nine mobs. So don't worry at the start. You are gonna be starting really, really slow on Sky Vault. It's okay. Um You know, completing the objective is the main thing, I would say, for you to, to progress. Um but do focus on some of your resources that you're gonna need for your island and to feed yourself and stuff like that. But that's probably what we're gonna do next. So let's claim this at level we get to yeah, level two and i will 100 percent gonna be taking speed because it is so slow moving around um and after we've done that it's gonna be dash or it's gonna be stonefall so stonefall will allow me to fall down places better i mean you can know how much i like to fall but dash will also let me move quicker and get me back up so i might go dash and then stonefall um we'll see so let me uh, i'm gonna make a bed so i can sleep this away and i'm gonna put this stuff away and then we'll open this all right so before we open the crate i just want to show you these compressed blocks just in case you haven't seen them before what you do with these is so this is see it's got two times two x on here so it's double compressed so if i do that it's 18 and then that's 18 of the one times compressed and it's actually all that dirt which is amazing again for sky blocks so i'm just going to do a little bit of expanding um, just so that we can, as soon as we get water, we can start expanding this island. Uh, and then I promise we will do the bottom. Okay, I've expanded out, ready for us to get some water so we can put some crops down. But let's see what becomes in our monolith crate. Oh, look at all that. Look at all that. So you get tons. Wow, so a helmet and boots, a sword. The jewels are going to be amazing later on. I mean, some, oh, some of these are a bit big in size. Uh, wow, they're huge in size. That one's a good one, though. That one is a good one. But we're going to keep everything anyway because we will be able to smelt these down in the future, even the rubbish ones. But we've also got a mystery box and we've also got the relic boosters. These can have, I think they can still have pogs in and they can definitely have echo gems. But most of the time it's Laramara diamonds or emeralds, even. <laughs> and then the booster packs. Will we get one? No, nope, not in that one. So I made a little chest with the. Uh, are a precious, a precious inside there. Probably get this iron cooked up as well. Um, so yeah, precious, precious, but vanilla precious is probably the way to put that one. Um, and we'll put that away. We've got some silver, which it basically just turn up back into bronze, or you can convert it up into gold. Uh, I think it's nine for nine bronze is a silver, nine silver is a gold, nine gold a platinum if that's still in it so uh yeah so this chest is just going to be for our stuff that comes from the vault that's pretty special uh right now though we're going to shove all our gems into here uh, jewels into here sorry because we've got nothing to use them on so vault gear there's loads of different versions of vault gear like rarities like scrappy scrappy plus rare blah 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 there's tons of them epic omega but when you first start no matter what you have in here from vanilla so this is whether you're playing sky vaults whether you're playing normal you any of these are going to be an upgrade on any of this so this sword is going to be better than that and this helmet's going to be better than no one obviously but if i had diamond or netherite these will be better so let's roll them see what our first vault gear is come on come on be kind oh oh so we've got a common helmet and it's the minotaur helmet Do you know what that was the first helmet I got on my other playthrough as well, I think. The Minotaur. Some rare boots. Sorry, I didn't even look at that one. So that one has got... Yeah, it's four armor in total. An extra two health for us. So that's a full heart. And some item quantity. Now, item quantity is when I open a chest, there's going to be a 4% more, basically, than what they normally would be. Um, Druid boots. Rare. So these have got... So five armor in total and some critical hit resistance that one's got critical hit resistance as well actually so that's really great an extra three health so another health another heart and a half it's a difficult one to say and knockback resistance as well so and it's also got soul bound which for us right now doesn't really matter but what that does mean is if you die wearing this and you're in a position where you wouldn't get your stuff back this will actually just be on your body straight away so that is wicked and this one Shocking hit chance. That's something new, and I've not seen it. I don't know what it does, so I'm interested to see what that is. So 9.5 attack damage. So just to give you an idea. That's six attack damage. So straight off the bat, it is better on the attack damage. The attack swing speed is pretty much the same. Loads more durability. 
Um, but it's got an extra percentage of attack speed on there as well. Now, later on, we'll be able to do things like re-roll these and make some of the changes. So the way it works, if I hold shift, you've got implicit, prefixes, and suffixes. Now, you can change implicits, but it's a bit further down the line. But prefixes and suffixes, there's a little, um, like, a table to do that on, and you can change it. You use your vault bronze and some of the focuses that you get from inside the vault. And you can do that with all of these, all the vault stuff anyway. Not, not everything, but all the vault stuff. So... You, I'm going to put you in here for now, because you have been serving me quite well. Um, I'm going to eat some more of this. Chomp, 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 chomp. And I think what we're going to do is quickly, we're going to use... So this is the, the way you search for items in Vault Hunters. And I think we, we're going to make a plan of things that we want. So we know we want the Vault Altar, because that's how we're going to get into real vaults. Isn't it called the Vault Altar? Alt. Mm, Am I spelling it wrong? Yeah, it's Altar. There we go. So what you can do in it's called JEI. If you um, click it, <clears throat> what you can do then is press A, and it goes up into the top left here, and it's going to favour it. So you, you may have seen the last one, but just in case you haven't seen it, I'm going to go through bits as we go along. So you can see that actually most of this we could do, but we haven't got these. Um, so we're going to prioritise. Now we need some chromatic iron. That's a big thing. These are just stone, so we can just mine some stone anyway. Um, and then we're going to have to cook it. Although I do have a silk touch. I'm going to save the silk touch, though. So I've got a silk touch book in one of those rooms, but I'm, uh, I'm going to save it. So, yeah, we're going to mine it, cook it up, and then we've already got obsidian. So, yeah, just two of these ingots. And they're really easy. If you find a chromatic cave, you'll see it straight away. So the next thing is the tool bench. Is it not called a tool bench? Hmm. What was it called? It's not a tool vice, that's the old one. Tool station. So again, driftwood. Thankfully, we made a million crafting tables, so we've got those. Uh, some more chromatic iron, so let bob that up there. And that's going to make let us make our vault tools, like the vault pickaxe and stuff like that. And they're, they're really, really handy. And the next thing is the bounty table, because, again, it's not too difficult to make. We're going to have to probably go in real vaults. I don't think we can get vault essence from the raw vaults. Maybe you can. Let's have a look. Can we see that? Found in... Um, Gildy chest. I don't know if it if it appears in um, raw vaults, but well, you never know. We might find some. So there's that, and I think that's all we can get right now because the rest of it's going to need chromatic steel, I think. So I'm going to search for that now, just so you can see if I can actually type. Yeah, chromatic steel, and it is used for an absolute ton of things. But yeah, the vault forge is one of the things we need. So we need netherite for that. Um, this is the one that we want. The artisan station, that is definitely the one that we would like. I'll tell you the other thing, actually. I'm going to put it on there. I don't think we can get anywhere close to it yet, but the black market. So the black market is... Uh-oh. What's it called? It is called the black market. What did I type? I don't know. One of these as well. But again, it's not too difficult to make. Uh, this is where you can buy you can buy things basically from it with the soul shards that you get from killing the mobs inside the vault. So let me uh, get myself healed up. Let me make sure that I've got everything sorted and we're going to run another vault with the intention of grabbing food, making sure we do completion and trying to get some, what do we want? Chromatic steel, some driftwood and bolt essence. I have a feeling we're going to have to wait to get that kind of stuff. But oh, I'll tell you one thing that we can do though. This here, you can mine this, and you've got a chance of getting the chippings, and those chippings make the vault crisp. There it is, there's one. Chipped vault rock. So if I go into vault rock, because we are going to make these as well, we need that on there. Whoops. Vault rocker. Vault rock. So you can see again, that's why we do need lots of chromatic iron. And the chip stuff is going to help us get there as well. Um, because that's what you need. And you do get some of this. Like, oh, bye. You can get some of it on your platform at the start. But it's also worth doing this anyway because if you mine this out, your crystals can grow in each direction. So let's clear that out. And also those crystals, they will continue to grow while you're in the vault. Which is really, really handy. We've got a tree yet. We've got a tree. nice and clear nice and clear let's get some of this away 
cobble and we're gonna put you guys in here for now but yeah in that mine room you saw there's tons of this stuff so you can mine that to get your stuff and if we find a chromatic cave i think there's a ton of it in there as well so we're not going to be short of that once we find the right room in the vault and yeah so are we good to go no we're not good to go i know what we need we need some buckets so we need at least two buckets so one two three oh one two three two buckets and then we can get some water so we can make uh, a water source for here i don't think i'm going to craft anything else because i mean like you've just seen there we've got all this cool stuff straight away so i think we're um, I think good to go so yeah let's get another crystal and let's get inside did you see what i did did you see what i did it wasn't fully <laughs> it wasn't fully grown well, where's it gone there we go so yeah always make sure your crystals are fully grown portal is south so, two monoliths. Food. Driftwood if we can get it, but I'm pretty certain... Ah! Perfect. We live here now. We live here for a little bit. So, this is the same stuff that we just saw, where you can get the chippings from. Um, so, I'm going to mine some of that. But also, you see that up there? That is the chromatic iron. So, let's find some that's close by, just so you can see what it looks like. You can mine it with any pickaxe. So, if you find one of these straight away... As long as you've got even the wood pickaxe from one of the um, from one of the corridors from mining the wood, you'll be able to get this. But yeah, so it comes in ore form, and then you smelt it down, and then that's how you get your chromatic iron ingots. So I am going to spend some time pretty much destroying this room. Oh yeah, also while I am in here, this is also where you can get terracotta really, really easy. There's a ton of it around. You can get out of the floor, so if you do need that, if it comes upon your altar and you're only in raw vaults, look for one of these, and you can find it here. All right, so I mined the chromatic iron until my stone pickaxe broke, and then I got us enough for two crystals on the chippings, so um, we should be able to make some, some bolt rocks very soon, as long as we can get the table going. Um, other things, yeah, so water. We've solved that one. That is excellent. That is excellently done. If I fall, I can attempt to, um, to water bucket. I'm not very good at it, so now we're going to focus on monoliths. So we're going to keep heading north, look for monoliths, and see what we can find. I can say this, uh, this peaky method seems to work quite well. Especially at the start. Oh, here we go. I fell. I fell. Especially, I was going to say, especially at the start, because they are more common. You can usually just peek your way around rather than having to drop down and fight. Uh, but as it turns out, I'm, I still like to fall. But this is great because we are going to get golden carrots which is a big thing that we do need. All right, another mine room. So I say a mine room, I'm going to keep calling them the mine room. So that's what they are in the raw vault, but like this proper mine shaft room, which are really, really good. Um, but yeah, so chance for more diamonds. We've already got a full inventory. So we're going to have to do some um, some prioritization before we leave. But I'm going to go through here and see what I can find, see if we can find any more diamonds, any more iron. Okay, so only two diamonds from that, but we did get some compressed blocks. Uh, so some dirt and some compressed soul sand. So very happy with that. What are we going to get in the next room? It looks like it. Is this another one? I think it is. I think it is another. It is. And um, there's some more diamonds. Okay, so we went back to the starter room, the chromatic cave. And then we went uh, east. And that's our first monolith. So we're going to hunt down the second one. And then we're going to leave, making sure there's room in our bags. Uh, and then I think we're going to be able to set up the, the altar. And we'll be able to see what... Hopefully we can just go straight in, but it depends how unlucky or lucky we are. Oh, yeah, there's the other one straight away. And I'm going to go down this hole. And I'm going to grab that. Pow! Excellent. Another completion. So you can see now you're definitely completing a lot more regularly than what you was before, which means that you level up a lot quicker as well. Um, but yeah, so... And the crates are amazing, as you've just seen. So we're going to get another one of those. So probably some more vault gear. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm going to make it. Oh! No! No, I didn't. <laughs> Pow! I made up for it. And I'm just going to utilize the last few minutes of the time. So I'm going to get some more chromatic iron and some more of the vault rocks. Not going to lie. I got bored. I got bored. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Um, what do I need to leave behind? I need to leave something behind. What is the least important thing in here? <laughs> Probably. Oh, actually, I don't need to leave anything behind. I can just. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. Let's go. So, we... Yeah, another completion crate. I'm sorry, I ain't got room for you guys. Sorry. All right, so... Another 
decent chunk of XP, 1,474 XP, which is going to get us right close to level 4. Uh, what do we do? So let's have a see. We got 37 chests and what was it? 25 mobs. So just a small amount at the start. It's amazing how quickly you'll see that shoot up when you start playing this. But anyway, I'm going to put that there. Let's get everything away and then let's see what's in the crate. Let's put away. Uh, I made the water source. No, it doesn't need to be that big, but I wanted a limited water source. So anyway, that, that's what I'm doing. Uh, I've planted some wheat down so we can start like, growing. But we've now got the other completion clay. I'm going to do it this way just in case. Whoa, this is so much stuff. This, As you can see, there's so much um, compared to what you used to get. You get so much more. So look at that. We got another set of boots. So I was hoping for trousers and chest, but another set of boots. Nevertheless, and a shield, which is amazing to get. Some more jewels, again, big sizes, but another axiom one, which is good. The ornate one's good. Uh, we'll talk about these properly when we do make some tools. Um, yeah, decent. We've got a mystery box, some more silver, and in the relics. So let's see what we get here. Diamonds! So let's um, put these away. Silver, that one. Uh, more. I'm, I'm going to have to get a chest just for jewels. Get so many early on. But that's great because it's something that on our previous playthrough, the jewel system got implemented part way through. So having them right from the start now is going to probably show us the, the benefits of having that so early because when we got it, it sort of felt like we were just making the same tool we had before a bit more difficult, uh, even though it was good. Um, but at least now we'll see it from the start without even being able to make the old vanilla, not the vanilla tool, I can't what it's called, the chromatic tool. Uh, what? So, wooden shield. Yeah, it's a big boy. It's a big boy. And barred boots. So, ah, right now, I remember there's a cool thing on the new Vault Hunters for comparing gear, because usually you remember I was doing this and this and this. Now you can hold shift over them and it shows you the pair of them. So one you've got equipped and it shows them side by side. So in this particular case, what have we got on here? They've both got five armor. They've both got six uh, crit chance. Uh, but this one's got an extra 10 mana and an extra two health. So we lose half a heart, but we gain an extra 10 mana. That, that's good. And we've got knockback resist, but we don't get soul band. Now, soul band doesn't really matter to us. And there's an empty suffix on this, which we can't do yet because that's where we use the focuses. Uh, but I think they'll be better because I think I'm happy to have the extra 10 mana right now. So I'm going to use those uh, and I'm going to put this into here. So all of our gear we're going to save anyway, because when we get the Vault Forge, we'll be able to smelt it down, so we can use it for scraps. Um, so yes, that is a really good start. I've kept some empty bucket, by the way, because I'm going to get some lava if I can find some. Uh, we're doing all right on food now. That's quite manageable for, for the vaults. So what we need to do now is make our... What do we want to make first? We're going to make our altar, because can't get any of this stuff, I don't think, without going into a vault. So we're going to need a bolt for all that kind of stuff. So let's make this altar. Uh, I'll cook up some of these. The chromatic iron's cooking. And then once I've got the bits to make this and to make one of those, we'll make them together, place it down, and we'll decide what we're going to do. Okay, that's all smelted up. I've got everything ready here so we can make it. You also need a button. So I, I made 34. I don't know. I made 34. <sighs> okay, stone cutter acquired. So let's get uh, making this one first. So the altar. So here it, here it comes. I'm going to put it in here. Um, don't know why. I like it a bit low down, especially while the island's small, because then it won't ping off when you make your crystal. So I'm going to put it down there. You need a button so you can even go next to it. I can go on the side of it, but it also can go in the middle, which is pretty cool. And we need now our vault rock. So this is what we're going to place on the altar. And it's going to say you need all of these things. And once you've got all of these things, you can go and do a real vault. So... Let's keep everything crossed. See what it does. Oh! So, what do we not have? Oof, we don't have most of it, actually. We've got cobblestone. Do I have a bone? I don't think I do. Uh, I don't have copper, and I don't have a potato. So, that's going to be plenty of raw vaulting, hoping for a room which is going to give us the potatoes. So, uh, yeah, I'll throw the cobblestone on now just so you can see what you do. You basically just take the item in your inventory and throw it at the altar, and it comes up saying complete. And if you're never sure what an item is, if you crouch, it'll tell you exactly what you need. So I'm going to go and try and find these uh, in a raw vault. So that's how it works in Sky Vault. It's going to find a raw vault where I can get these few bits from, 
and then we will hopefully get our first real vault well first one of the raw vaults and we have got a room that could be quite interesting there could be a villager in there uh so unfortunately it is melons um uh, but still they're gonna probably come up at some point so i know we've got some so that's all good let's see what's in the uh over there is the no it's just sticks is there a villager that we can rescue there is hello so we can sit down we can shift and right click him or her, uh, and they will go into our inventory. That is a really, really cool, brilliant star. Okay, yeah, same room, because it's got the mine, little mine underneath. We've got some copper, so that's already enough. Uh, but we might as well get some more while we're in here, so... Ah, oh, we got a bundle! Excellent, so a bundle is like a little bit like a, a smaller shulker box, essentially. So we can sort of go bump, 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 and just start filling it with some stuff. That's a, a real big find. Really, really big find. I'm really happy with that. Um, let's see if there's any of the stuff we want. There's a bone! I can't remember how many we needed, but there's one at least anyway. So, cool. Still hunting for potatoes. Uh, and I found one monolith so far. I'm going to make it this time. We're going to do it. Yes! Made it. Ah, oh, and there's an altar here. Brilliant. So, give it two hearts. Right click. Excellent. That'll do. And we should have... Yep, Valara's Blessing. So, they are... They give you, like, extra bonuses. I know also you need to use them if you're going to craft idols. So that was a good find. And there it was. It was in the end room right there. There's number two. Okay, so we're out of that first raw vault. We still didn't get potatoes, but we did complete. So we're going to get another crate. Um, so what level are we now? Yeah, we went at one more. So we've got an extra skill point. It's raining. Let's get rid of this. Uh, oh, and we need our crystal to grow now. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's been growing while I've been in. So I wonder if this is part of that... Hmm, I wonder if that part of that mod means that whatever happens with these, it maybe it doesn't actually grow while I'm in the vault. They normally do, so I'll have to check that with the um, with the author of the mod and see. So I'm going to have to do AFK here. For, oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I did grab another one before. Yeah, so I've got another one there. So let me get this stuff away. We'll do the crate. And then, in fact, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stack the crates up. So... Depending on how many this takes, we, we might have a few crates to open all at once, so I think that'd be quite fun. Okay, so while that's away, and you can see, one potato! One potato is all we need, so hopefully the next raw vault, that's what's going to give it to us. So we're on our way out. There was no potatoes, so we're still going to need those, but we, we are going to get another completion crate, so let's get out, put our stuff away, and uh, open that up. We've got two crates to open up, and I forgot we've still got a skill point as well, so... Let me get everything away and then we'll get top of that. Okay, so we're all tidied away and we've got these two completion crates from the monoliths to do from the raw vaults. So let's see what we get. I'm just going to smash them both. Let's do them all at once. Wow. Chest piece, chest piece, boots, boots, chest piece, boots. Still no leggings, but we are going to get a new chest piece no matter what. Um, let's see. Oh, we got a lemon. This is great. So if we are, you know, if we're on our way out of a vault and... We need more time. We can eat that, and it'll um, that will give us that extra time. I've had to use that in the past as well on the other playthrough, and it's, uh, they are very, very good. Loads more jewels. Um, mm, one affinity. Yeah, we've got some some with small size. We'll, we'll talk about. Like I said, we'll, we will definitely talk about how that works. And a blank seal. Can't remember what we do with seals. I think that's so you can change the crystal. Um, to sort of guarantee certain rooms but i can't remember exactly uh, let's do this one emeralds no nope, no relic piece and then let's roll all this gear pow look at this come on what are we gonna get what are we gonna get give me goodies wow we got lots of the rusty raider so which is the best chest piece it's gonna be Whatever it was, was there no rare one? There was no rare chest piece. Okay, so five armor, 18 mana, four armor, one armor, three armor. Ooh. I think that one is going to be our best one. So five armor, three percent crit chance, and 18 mana. Because even though it's got knockback resist, they both got a bit of crit resistance. I mean, that's got six percent, but I think I'd rather have the armor at this low level. Um, and that's four, five armor. Yeah, those two I don't think are as good. Uh, oh, I didn't roll the axe. No, we're probably not going to use the axe because I'm not a big fan of them. But uh, right, 
I can't imagine any of these being better than what we've got. Uh, because the other one's being rare, but you never know. Five armor, seven. There is seven armor on that, an item quantity. That is good, but we'll lose the health. So we're not going to take that one. Three armor, four six, Yeah, both good. But again, we're not going to. Uh, we're not going to use it. And this one, it will have more. It'll have more damage. They always do, but they're usually a lot slower. Yeah, it's a lot slower. So no, I'm afraid the vault axe is going to go basically in the bin. So all of these are going to go in our box, ready for recycling next time. I'm going to do the same with the gems. So. On that, I was hoping to get into a real vault today, but I'm not going to get there. This video is going to be really long, I think, already. Uh, I'm going to try and cut some bits out, like some of the, the running around and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoyed that. I'm really excited to restart it. What I am looking for from you, if you don't mind giving me some help, is give me some base ideas. Um, last time I had this idea, I made like a central island and then bits all around it. And then towards the end, I'd remade that into these like cool themed islands which i showed you in my last video uh, i'm not against doing that again but if you guys have got any ideas of what i could do to build this cool base um i will be i'll be very happy and it'd be great to build some of your ideas in this world but you know what we're not on too bad look at us we look at we already look a bit like a vault hunter so one episode in what are we we are level i've forgotten what level we are four we're level four already uh, oh did we want to spend a skill point now did we want to spend it Mm, I'm going to take the yeah, dash, stonefall, dash, stonefall, stonefall. I'm going to take stonefall now because I've me falling. I fell a few times already. So anyway, that is all done for today. So we're back into it, into the new season. I will be streaming this again. I'm probably going to do a few more videos. I want to make sure I'm in a good place so that when we are streaming, we can do plenty of vaults and plenty of the good stuff. Uh, not that this isn't the good stuff, but probably the more action. I don't have to do as many cuts and stuff like that. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time. I can't believe I played ball hunters again. Yes. Bye. Oh, don't forget, if you're enjoying it, like and subscribe and all that. Bye.